dispensers any good? Do these plastic bottle can converters leak? And how do you build a mammoth pyramid of cans? Stay tuned and let's find out. The first one we're going to look at is this soda bottle drinks dispenser. It's an interesting looking thing with a tap at one end, operated by this lever, and this threaded hole with a rubber seal in the base plate. It feels a little bit flimsy to be honest, but let's see how well it works. To use it, we just unscrew the lid from our soda bottle and screw on the drinks dispenser like this. Make sure it's tightened up well, and before we turn it over, we also need to make sure the tap is in the off position. Then stand it on the base. And you can see it actually looks really cool. So let's try it out. I opened the tap, and it shot into the glass. Most of it was foam, so as it settled, I topped it up. But as the bottle started to empty, it slowed down the flow rate coming out of the tap. To begin with, there's pressure from the gas buildup of CO2 in the bottle, so it pushes the drink out fast. But once this pressure has gone, the drink is not able to flow out of the bottle because no air can get in. It's trying to create a vacuum at the top of the bottle. But they did actually supply me with a pin to poke some holes in at the top here. This should allow air to flow into the bottle and replace the drink as it flows out of the bottom. So let's try it now. Well, that appears to have cured the problem. It's not coming out particularly quickly, but it is working. However, it doesn't take long before it turns into a dribble and comes to a stop even though there's still drink inside it. Those of you who are into science might know Pascal's law that says liquid will find its own level. Even though there's more volume of drink in the bottle, it naturally levels out to the same height as the tap, which means no more drink can flow out. So it's a pretty poor idea for a drinks dispenser. And the only way I can get the rest of the drink out is to unscrew it from the bottle. However, there's pinholes in the bottle, so it's leaking against my hand. Then quickly tip it into a glass. I did actually find another way to use this gadget, which I'll show you later. But next, I'm going to take a look at this. This is another drinks dispenser designed to be put down inside of a bottle. It doesn't fit over regular soda bottles. It's designed for bottles with a larger neck because the electric pump, which sits inside the bottom, won't go through the smaller bottlenecks. So to use it, we slide off this cover and install a couple of batteries. And I'm going to try it out with this large bottle of orange juice. So we drop the pump down into the bottle, then stretch over the silicon to seal it at the top. It looks kind of weird, but let's give it a try. And when I push against the button, it instantly starts filling my glass with orange juice. Pretty cool, huh? It actually seems to work really well, and it's very satisfying to use. The two batteries definitely have enough power to empty the whole drink, and it drains out the whole bottle nearly entirely. When you're done, you can just rinse it through with some fresh clean water, and use it again with a different bottle. It would make a great drinks dispenser for parties. But what is really cool is using it with milk. After you fitted it to the bottle, you can keep it in the fridge and easily use it for things like filling up your breakfast bowl. The device itself does feel a little bit flimsy and it is very sensitive on the switch, so you do need to be careful. But so far, it's worked well for me. The next thing I want to show you are these. They're like a flexible silicon track with a slight dip in one side. And they're almost like tank tracks, but they're actually for holding drinks cans. If you're having a party and you've got a lot of drinks that you want to put out, you can lay down one of these mats and load it up with cans. It's all spaced perfectly to hold a standard sized can and stop them from slipping. And what's great is you can even stack layers on top of them, going as high as making a pyramid. And if you put the other mat alongside, you can actually stack a huge amount of cans. But what's really useful is using it in a fridge to stop cans rolling about on the shelf. I also found you can use it for bottles too, but do be careful. The next thing we're going to look at are these weird plastic bottle tops. And when I say bottle tops, I mean these top parts of a bottle, including the lids. It's quite a curious looking thing, and the caps and screw as normal. And these are actually meant to push on top of a drinks can. Once you've opened your can, give the top a good firm push to clip it over. 
It's a good snug fit, and it clips on well. The idea is, it stops any animals from crawling inside your can, it might be easier for you to drink from or pour, and if you're on the move somewhere, it can stop your can from spilling. The top screws on and off easily, and when I tried a drip test, there doesn't appear to be anything leaking. I tried another one on this can of coke, and this time, although it's not designed to be held like this, I held the top and gave it a good shake. No issues at all. It stayed firmly attached to the can. But this time, when I gave it a leak test, I did notice it dripping a bit from the cap. The lids don't have rubber seals, so they're not quite airtight. And I think it's designed like this to stop the pressure from the CO2 in the drink building up and popping the gadget clean off the can. But for stopping animals crawling in, making it safer to drink from, and avoiding any spills when you're on the move, I think it's a great gadget that can be used time and time again. Any idea what these are? Well, they serve a similar purpose to the last gadget we looked at, and they're designed to cover over your drinks can once it's open. It slides under the ring pull like this. And to cover over the hole, you just spin it around, or open it up again. You can see on the underside it's got this raised ridge, which slots down into the groove around the top of the can, and it's got these raised bumps on the top to help you grip it when you're spinning it. Once fitted, you can still easily drink out of the can, but there is no seal on it, so I don't think it's watertight, and when I test it, you can see it does leak. With this can, it really is only dripping a little bit. And it certainly works well to stop any insects crawling in, or to stop any splashes or spills when you're on the move. It unclips nice and easily, and it's really nice and small, so it's easy to carry around with you. I think they're great. So, looking back at this drinks dispenser again, the other way I found to use this gadget when I tried it again with another full bottle, was instead of piercing holes in the bottle to allow the air in, we can shake the bottle to release CO2 from the drink, so it pressurises it through the tap. But of course this spoils the drink, because we release the bubbles and make it a bit flat. We can also squeeze the bottle to help push the drink out through the tap. And by doing a combination of these two things, I was actually able to empty the bottle. But it does seem a bit rubbish, having to use it like this. I wasn't impressed. If you'd like to see me review some more fun gadgets, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching!